Welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can create a platform that are following some uh, specific points and how you can get your player to stand on the platform while it's moving and your player will follow along so he's not uh, having these fancy jumping up and down when uh, the platform is going up or down and he will automatically follow the platform so you can move around on it. Yeah, let's get to it. So what I have in my scene is my player and my player has a simple movement script. We have a rigid body, 2D, it's uh, frozen in uh, set axis and we have a couple collider 2D and an animator and a simple sprite for the character. For the platform I have a sprite with a box collider and it's full size. So let's start creating the script. Create script and call this platform movement. Let's open it up. And now we need some reference to the point and you can add as many points that you want. But we will make a public transform array for the points. And this these two brackets here means that it is an array. Then we need a public float for the move speed. How f sorry, let me write like this. So how fast the plat platformers should move. And then we need a private integer for our point index. Then in the start function we can say transform.position is equal to the points. Uh, points and we will use the point index and the transform dot position so our uh, position will go to the to the point uh, the first point that you have in uh, the array and it will be dedicated with an index number and that transform dot position in the update we can say if our point index is lower equal to points dot length minus one then transform dot position equal vector two dot move towards and here we need to move from our position our current position to our points point index dot transform dot position and we will move by, by our move speed at multiplicable time dot delta time and if our transform dot position is equal to the points point index dot transform dot position so now we are at that given point then our point index plus equal one. So now when we are at this point index, then we will give it plus one. So index will now be two and then it will go to index two and so on. So now it will keep following the points because every time we, we enter that point, it will add one. So we'll go to the next one. So let's save this, head back. And this will only make it follow the points. So let's first create an empty game object here. Let's call it points. Remember to uh, send that out. And this is really important that you have to set axis at zero, else it will not work. Create an empty object. Call it point. A little trick here. If, if, if you make parentheses here and say one, then when you duplicate it, it will automatically make it two, three, four, five. Yeah, number it correctly. So let's take point number one, move it down here. Point number two, move it over here. Point three, up here. Point four, over here. And five, down here. Uh, if you want to see the points, 
you can always go up to your gears. Oh, uh, highlight all your points first. Up here on this box, here you can choose an icon for your empty game objects. So if you choose this, you can see now you can see the empty game objects. If they are too large or too small on your screen, if you hit the gizmo knob button up here, <laughs> sorry, then you can scale it up and down here. Now when you have your points, take this, the, the square or your, um, let, let me rename it to your platform, add the script, you can lock it up here on the, on the, the lock up here to the right. Now select all your points, add it to the points and let's make a speed of 10. So now let's try hit play. And now you can see it should follow all the points. But we still have one issue here. You can see now it's following the points and when it eat when it comes to the last one it stops. So this is something that you can have in your game that it can only go to the last point, then this is the code for that. If you wanted to keep looping around, then we need to add the last piece. Let's open up the script again, and here we can say, if our point index is equal to points dot length. So if the point index is equal to the last point that you have in the array, it means that it has it it's reaches reached the last point. Then our point index is equal to zero. So now it will go back to the first one again. So let's save this. Hit play again, and now it should keep looping around. Going to the left. Go down, go right, and yeah, now it goes to the first one again, and it will keep. So, the next problem that we have, you can see my player is not following along, so I have to move all the time when the platform is moving and when we are going down my player can't follow. So we want him to follow the the platform around. To do that open up the script again. On the script we need to add an on collision enter. So below here let's make a on collision enter 2D. Remember it has to be the 2D and here you can say if collision.gameobject.tag is equal to player then collision.gameobject.transform.parent is equal to transform save hit back again hit play Remember that your player should be tagged as a player. So let's hit play again. Let it come around. We still have one little issue that we need to, to fix after this. Because if you see the platform here now. And let me jump on. Right, let me go on like this. You can see my player is following along. And I just got a chai become a child of the platform so now I will automatically follow the platform also when we are going down but when I jump off I still keep following so to fix this open up your player script and on your player go down in the bottom and here you can say on collision exit 2d so when you exit a collision our transform dot parent is equal to null oh only one like this and that means when you jump off a collision then you will you will be uh, yeah you will jump off 
out of this transform and be a separate game object again. So now when it's going around, come on. Now I can jump, come on. Let me get up, yeah, like this. So now I'm uh, moving around with it. And it works when we are going down, we are going right. And when I jump off, you can see I got a, I became a separate game object again, and I'm not following along. Yeah, that was what I had to show you in this video. I really hope it uh, helped you out. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, see you next time.